This is Property Source Radio here till 10 o'clock. Steve Hausman, Pat Coyne, Alex, and uh, the guys from Rochester Window Cleaning, rochestowindowcleaning.com. Steve and Mark Wasserman. Steve is the silent type. Mark is uh, ready to tell us. Uh, you know, and, and you always hear stories about guys who clean windows for a living. Seeing this, being here, as I like to maybe call it, being in the right place at the wrong time. <laughs> I think it's a perk of the job, some of these places that you might be at the wrong time. Maybe not. No? No, I bet you there's some situations that you wish you weren't part of. <laughs> Do you have it? You got to have a couple. You better have a couple stories. Yeah, we got a couple stories. Right, get <laughs> nice and close here. Yeah. Nice and close. The, the weirdest thing you the, the weirdest thing you saw that you never thought you'd see. And and now remember, there's you know there's kids up today, so we got to. Well, the weirdest thing is uh, <laughs> back in the early uh, late seventies, early eighties, we're cleaning uh, windows at a building, and the uh, owner decided to put storms on. And Steve said, "Well, let's try our hands putting storm windows on the building." Mm-hmm. So we were doing that, and obviously we had to work the weekends, and we were there on a Sunday. We had the whole crew up there. We needed a pencil. Believe it or not, we didn't have a pencil. And so we had the master key. I opened the door to walk in, and I was shocked. There was a guy getting dressed as a girl at the secretary's desk. And he <laughs> looked up at me as he was putting a bra on, and he said, what do you want? And I said, a pencil. <laughs> so I, yeah, nothing you have. <laughs> <laughs> so he flipped me a wow. pencil and. uh I booked out of there and I got in, in the hall. I was going, guys, guys, you got you won't believe what I just seen. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. A cross-dressing secretary. Awkward. Awesome. Awkward. Awkward. Very. Awkward. And then, extremely. You know, about ten minutes later. But, but, but clearly, that stayed with you all these yes. years. You probably still have nightmares over it from the seventies. Yeah. Stuck. Thirty years. Yeah. Well, then he walks out and he's got to go walk past us because I guess he said to book out of there. He was afraid we we're going to come in again on him. Walk of shame, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh boy. And and but I, I think of some of the stories you must have seen in terms of uh, just looking in a window at the wrong time and seeing That would be my favorite. I mean, as if I were working if he hired me tomorrow, I think that'd be my favorite. Well don't sometimes you? on the buildings we do get flashed. Okay. Yeah, see? That's what I'm talking about. Then there was flash, a- actually flash. Someone turns around, oh, there's the window guys and woohoo! Free yeah. show. Yeah. Real yeah. sweet, like Mario. Ever any Gras. women? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Not the other way, trust me. Well, I was going to say, you, 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 you have little, as we call them in the business, flashbacks. Yeah. So, But they actually do take the opportunity to say, hey, look what I got. Yeah. Why? Absolutely. Could be fun. I don't know. There's Thrill? No, I'm, it's not for me to ask why. Well, I'm going to ask Alex then because she's the only, why would a woman do that? I have no idea. Well, you, uh, Everybody's different. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you know what? I, I guess some women are exhibitionists. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. It's like why girls flash when people are driving. You know what I mean? Nah, I never had that happen. I'm never so lucky. <laughs> Me either. I was driving the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> but anyway, I think it's a perk of the business, uh, you know, window cleaning business. That's what I think. That you get to be extra creepy? Well, <laughs> well no, it's, it's, it's not creepy. But they're not creepy. They're just in the right place at the wrong time. Well, that's yeah. it. I would say the right place at the right time. Well, yeah. Right. But, right. No, I'm not talking about them. I'm okay. saying Pat. That's the creepy. I guess feel right at home. I know. <laughs> but but you think about it. You Actually, know, we've had had housewives run yeah. by us too while we're in the building and in, in the house. Oh jeez! Remember that one time yeah. we we were talking. Look, Steve's embarrassed just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> His face is beat red. We're, we're talking. The, the the husband opened the door and we're talking to him. We're here to clean the windows. We knew him. I'm not going to say his name and. All of a sudden, his wife, stark naked, runs behind him. And then she, he turns around and starts yelling at her. What the heck? What are oh you doing? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. But I think about it, and especially when you work at a skyscraper. Like, I used to work at the HSBC Tower. And you look out, and suddenly the window guys are there. And it, it's just a, it's just so unusual from, you know, from being inside when we see you guys doing your stuff. It's just like, whoa. Well, how did they get there? Yeah. Yeah. And what are they doing shot. there? And how come they're taking so much time on my floor? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's funny. We are talking with uh, Steve, and well, Steve's not talking. Uh, uh, Mark <laughs> Wasserman from Rochester <laughs> Window Cleaning. Why did you come if you're not talking, dude? You can, you can say I'm something. Fine. I'm doing yeah. He actually is very talkative. He's, you got, just you wanna, not today. Just yeah. not today. That's all right. Mm-hmm. You got another good story for us? I mean, I like these stories. Have yeah. you ever had these any close great. calls? Like one time when you almost thought you mm. were going. That's, yeah, outboard. we did have a close call one time. We're doing ladder work. Lad, we're doing ladder with Steve. Step Go up. Ahead. Come on. Come Please. On. I had a brand new set of ladders at uh, 
That you was get close. If you're gonna do it, you gotta get close. Right. I had a brand new set of ladders we were trying out, and uh, almost an experimental kind of ladder. Yeah, they're a progressive uh, window cleaning ladder, and it was probably about 40 feet high. And uh, me and Mark were probably about 40 feet apart. And when I was at the top, as I was coming down the ladder, there are sectionals. All of a sudden, I heard it starting to squeak, and they separated. I grabbed onto the windowsill, and all the ladders fell out from under me. Oh, oh my I'm goodness. I'm by my fingertips, and I'm yelling over to Mark, and he goes, just a minute, just a minute, because he was still cleaning the window. He didn't even bother turning the look over mm. at me. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I'm, 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 I'm right hanging right. You know, on the windowsill by oh, my fingertips. Oh, my, oh my goodness. Four stories up. And he comes running down the, you know, the ladders and ran across the, the front yard there to put his set of ladders, to, you know, just to rescue yeah. me. And, uh, oh, my cow. goodness. But it's not like at that point you can say, I'm done. I'm never going to do nah. this again. You just, it's like riding a horse, I guess. <laughs> Got to get right yeah, back on the ladder. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We don't use those ladders anymore. Well, no. <laughs> it was an experimental, experimental ladder. Experimental <laughs> gone wrong. Yeah. No, no more experiments. <laughs> hey, is it a business for women? Are there many women window cleaners? Yeah, there are. Some. Yeah. Yeah, there have been some. I don't know if there's any presently. In I don't know why I asked there ha- that. There has been some here and there. Mm. And they probably have stories about seeing guys who are, you know. Flashing. Or, or whatever. <laughs> guys do. Guys do. Uh, see, I would do that. See, that's no problem. You don't have to ask a guy, you know, would he flash a window cleaner female out the window? No problem. I'd do that. You would do that. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I'd be like, watch this. This will shock her. This will, you know. <laughs> I'm shocked just thinking about it. I, I, Shock and awe, baby. And threw up in my mouth a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. If people want to hire your 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 company to come do their windows, so you do estimates before, you know, is, yeah, that, is it easy the, to do? Call the office and uh, we'll, uh, talk to Louise, uh, our secretary. Karen, Karen's our longtime secretary, is retiring. Mm-hmm. Oh. Louise is taking over. Mm hmm. And she'll give us the message, and we call down and visually uh, look at the jobs. Uh, no estimates over the phone in this way. The well, price yeah. we give you is the price. There's no switching the prices saying it was a guesstimate. It's the actual price. Uh, we'll go down. We actually uh, take pictures of the house uh, or the building, whatever it is, and we have records of it. And then uh, show the guys. The guys know what the job looks like before they even leave the office. They know what equipment they have, and they come down and clean up your windows. What's the phone number? Two three five twelve hundred. Two three five twelve hundred. The phone number at Rochester Window Cleaning. The website is rochestwindowcleaning.com. How many people work for your uh, for the company? Just uh, the two of you? No, no. We got and a Louise crew right and, now. Uh, we got a crew of uh, what, what seven right now. Mm-hmm. No, nice size. Yeah, it's a, we had a nice nice nucleus. Some of these guys, uh, their uncles and uh, fathers have worked for our father. Oh, so we got some uh, career window cleaning. So it's in your us. blood then. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. You guys just do the Rochester area, or do you go out to, like, the Buffalo, Syracuse, or is it too far? Um, we actually, the farthest out we go now is uh, Geneva. Uh, we do go out to Batavia, and down to the southern tier, we, we do work in Dansville. Okay. Really? Yeah. So I would imagine that when you, uh, even when you walked into our studio, you looked at every piece of glass and yeah. said, look at this. Who did that glass? Yeah. I mean, because right. right here we have a... You know, window going into yeah, what well, has the studio. janitor doing the, those interior partitions? We actually do this building here. Oh, you do? Yeah. Well, the outside is always great. Yep. <laughs> I, you know, and I, I we're the ones was... that make you not park on along the road. When that's it's... right. You have the scissor lift and the... well, actually, it's a self-propelled boom, not a right. scissors lift. So you do our building? I thought yeah, so. we do. I, you know, I didn't want to say so in case it wasn't true, but yeah, you guys do a great job, and you know, granted, you do take up a few parking spots, but. <laughs> Kind of ruins a day for you, Steve. <laughs> but it, well, I, well, I'm a garage guy, but yeah. Uh, now, and, and our building here at High Falls is kind of unique because the windows, the interior windows, are we weren't allowed to remove these windows because they're something to do with the antiquity of the building. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, does probably that, a historic site. Does that make it? Does that add any any issues to a window cleaning? No, not really. A window's yeah. a window. We clean it. I mean, it's easier cleaning a newer window, mm-hmm. uh, but. You gotta do what you gotta do. Interesting. I'm always amazed at the squeegee process. Because yeah. you know, when when I go to when I go to East Ave Sunoco and I want to clean my windshield, I always think about the window guys and <laughs> and how you know, it's like you're like magicians with that with that thing. It all comes down to practice and experience. What's the key? How do you get it not streaky? I, I don't want to give away a company secret that's gonna make me do my own windows, but <laughs> Well you gotta have a good rubber in the squeegee. Yeah. And uh, it just comes down to experience after that. Basically, good quality tool. 
good, good quality tools, okay. good quality rubber in the squeegee. And then you do some miraculous thing, wav- waving of the hand to get that streaks out of there, because I can never do no. that in the car. On the, you know, the car went never. I can't get the streaks out. It just comes down to experience. It's That's aggravating. What, yeah. And the special be. sauce. The secret yeah, there sauce. You go. <laughs> the secret Sunday <laughs> <laughs> sauce. <laughs> All right. You don't want to do anything else here? Shout outs. You want to say hi to anybody? You want to uh, do a quick plug for the uh, the website again or the company? Because well, this is, you know, this is your your sure, segment, guys. RochesterWindowCleaning.com. We've been around since 1899. Um, Steve and I have been running it since 1973. Uh, give us a call. I'll brighten your day. Oh, I like that tagline. I like that. That's good. Brighten your day. <laughs> they will brighten my day. 235 1200 is the phone number. RochesterWindowCleaning.com is the website. Guys, you're a lot of fun today. And I hope Thanks. we can get you some uh, some interest. Some folks will call, find out about the great work you do at Rochester Window Cleaning Company. And uh, thanks for joining us today. Appreciate it. Thanks.